Hey, I'm Sarah Lane. I'm going to teach you how to make a zine, a quarantine zine. So real quick, a little background for those who don't know what a zine is. And if you don't know what's wrong with you, just kidding. Um, it's basically a mini magazine that you can make yourself. It's a great way to showcase your own art, poems, etc. You can make your own copies to circulate around or to just make for yourself to enjoy, you know, like in case you're trapped in your house because of a mysterious disease and you're bored. So yeah, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to show you two different zines that I know how to make. And the first one is going to be a no stick eight page mini as you can see here I'm also going to teach you how to make a stitch bound zine but we'll get to that later here are the things you're going to need the paper scissors pencils are the main things you're going to need to make the zine you could not make it without those um, as for everything else it's up to you to implement what kind of supplies you'd want to use to create the zine step one grab your piece of paper and fold it vertically or a hot dog style, whatever you want to call it. Just follow the video. Then you are going to fold it in half and then in half again. It should look a little something like this, but now you're going to unfold it so that it looks like this. Locate the middle of the paper, and this is where you are going to cut a slit. Okay, now for this part, you're going to pinch each side, each middle, each middle page of each side opposite of the slit, and then you're going to put it together. Basically, just follow what I'm demonstrating in the video. Okay, hopefully we're on the same track, yeah? Um, you fold it in half now and it's gonna be similar to a booklet. And there you go, you basically got the tough, not so tough part down. And now we're off to creating, so let's go. Actually, just kidding, there is one more step and that is putting temporary placeholders to know which orientation to draw when it's unfolded and what page is which page, if that makes sense. But basically what I did here was get sticky notes and I cut them up into smaller um, pieces and then I numbered them and then I put them in order from the front page to the back page. So now when you unfold it, it tells you the right way to paint so that when you fold it back into a booklet, I feel like I've said this so many times, it won't be upside down on a certain page. So if you care about the outcome of the zine or you have a certain way that you want it to look, it is best to plan what you want on each page. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, now you can go ahead and get creative. Um, You could watch this whole time lapse of me working on it or feel free to just skip ahead to the next step.
okay and then once you're done just fold it back into a booklet and you're finished but wait Sarah how about the part where you said I could just pass this out to all my friends oh right okay let me show you how to do that so for this part it's going to be extremely important that you have a scanner otherwise this part won't be feasible unless you're willing to just draw the zine over and over again like a human scanner or something but yeah unfortunately for this part you need a scanner so sorry if you do not have one Right, and it's as simple as that. You just scan what you made, just basically do what you did earlier with cutting the slit in the middle and then folding it back to a booklet. And here is the final product of what my zine looks like. Okay, now let's learn how to make a stitch bound zine. Um, this one's way more bigger and I guess a little more tedious, but still pretty much easy and fun to do. So yeah, let me show you how to make one. So here's what you'll need in addition to the previous list, which consisted of paper, scissors, pencils, and things to customize it. Again, the tape, the glue, and the magazines are up to you for customization. I just threw these in because I wanted to toy around with collaging because I haven't done that much. Okay, now grab four pieces of paper and this time fold it horizontally. If you turn it that way, basically hamburger style. And if you want a cover page that isn't white, you could just... Um, throw that in. I threw in a blue piece of construction paper. Now make sure they're aligned perfectly. If any pages are bigger for some reason, just trim it with some scissors. time for stitching for this part you're gonna want to secure the pages with paper clips so that the pages don't move okay here I'm marking where I want to poke the needle through you're gonna want to locate the mark in the center of the fold and then you are going to measure three centimeters up and then three centimeters down for the two other points like here Make sure you remember your points as they're shown here with the middle one being point one, the top one being point two, and the bottom one being point three. Make sure your thread is thin and not thick like how it is seen here because this is what will happen. This is the kind of thread you're going to want to use. Okay, so starting out, poke your needle through point one, which is the middle one. And then from underneath, go into point two. Make sure you drag the thread all the way up so that there's just a little bit hanging behind. And then go into point three, which is the bottom one.
and then from underneath go back into point one, which is the middle one. And then tie it up in a super tight knot and then cut off the excess and you're done. should look close to something like this. Now you could start creating. Like I said earlier, I don't really collage much, nor do I remember the last time I've collaged before this scene. So I decided to make use of the old magazines I was sitting in the corner of my room and just experiment and for a while really um i started out with a plot but as i got further along i just did i just did like random pictures that looked visually appealing so it's your zine it's up to you to make it whatever you want so go wild I will say when it comes to collaging, it's way better to use um, glue sticks. When I used regular glue, it kind of seeped through, but I just had to make do with what I got. And here is the final product of my stitch bound zine. I hope you like it. It's been a pleasure teaching you how I make these zines. I know without a doubt yours turned out awesome. Feel free to follow me on Instagram or Twitter so that you can show me your amazing creations. Anyways, hope you're staying safe and social distancing. If you're an essential worker, thank you so much for all the hard work you're doing during this time. And if you're going out to get essentials, please be cautious and be kind to essential workers. Um, take care.